Let's take a look at the Select Zone feature. This is a really quick and easy way to instantly locate certain areas of your design without having to manually select them yourself. So let's use the Jaguar illustration to put this to the test. If I firstly just select an area of the design, I can see via my color panel that I have a fill applied to this curve. So now let's go over to the Select menu at the top and go down to Select Same and let's click Fill Color. This has then grabbed all of those curves in my design that match that description, which I could then use to go over to my layers panel and either add a color tag to these layers like so, or I could change the color within the color panel also. This is a really handy way to just add some organization to your layers as well. But now let's try it with a different example and let's click on something which has a stroke value applied. So now let's go back to select at the top, select same, and this time let's select stroke color. And here you can see that has also grabbed all of the matching white areas in my design. So I could easily change the color of these again over in the color panel just by adjusting the HSL color wheel. But I actually want to keep this as a nice bright white. So let's leave that for now. And then one last example to show you in this design, if I click on this golden area here and then go back to select and select same, we can also choose fill and stroke color. So again, as you can see on the layers panel, that has just grabbed all of those matching color based characteristics within my design. Again, allowing me to add a bit more organization to my layers panel as well. We can also use this technique in a few other scenarios. So this next example shows some of the other features we can use. If we wanted to quickly select all of these lines without having to zoom in and click and drag over our whole design, we can instead just pick one of these lines and go to select select same and select same stroke weight. And I know that the rest of my image contains the same stroke value. So I know everything will be selected at the same time, which means that I can go over to my stroke panel and adjust the width settings I have here and everything will be adjusted at once. While we're here, let's just bring this down and let's adjust the pressure profile as well, just to give the design more of a dynamic look. There we go. This design consists of some additional shape elements too. So let's use the same method to locate these two rectangles we have in our design. So to show how this works again, let's just select this top rectangle, go over to select, select same and choose shape. Instantly that's just selected both of these rectangles from our design. Now with those two selected, I'm gonna go back to my stroke panel and choose a corner which matches the design a little bit more, such as the mitre join, giving it more of a sharper edge to the corners of the rectangles. And let's bring this width down as well, just to keep it more in fitting with the rest of the design. And along with those two examples, we can also choose select, select same, and utilize transparency or blend mode as well, which again may be quite handy for certain designs you're working on. In this last example, we're going to take a look at using the select tag option. So inside my layers panel, you can see each of my layers have a color tag attached to them. And you can do this by right clicking and scrolling down and selecting the color that you want to use. But while we're also there, let's click on select same tag color. And that has instantly grabbed all of those matching yellow color tags within my layers panel. So while I'm here, I'm actually going to use command G to group those together or control G on a PC. And I'm going to do the same again with the blue ones. Grouping those two together. And while we're there, I'm also going to show you the other option we have by going to select, select same and choosing tag color. And you'll also notice we also have the option of choosing name as well. Now they're all selected. Let's go command G again. And as you can see, that has just really tidied up my layers panel and just made everything much more organized and efficient in just a few clicks of the mouse. So there's some simple examples of how you might use some of the many select same options available within Affinity Designer.